Hello, I'm Julian Carabinares from Arduino. I'm an Arduino Touch Evangelist. Uh, today we are going to talk about a Meso M1 made in collaboration with M5 Stack. I think this is the second news that no one expects to hear this day. First of all, Qualcomm and Arduino, and now Arduino MM5 Stack. Whose idea was it? Okay, yeah, so uh, Alan later we will we'll talk a little bit more about how this history began, right? But basically, uh, we, are, we are brothers as a company, we love to create new products, we love to create new flowers, we are great admirers of Point Fashion Stack and f Stack Globs Arduino too. And at some point we met each other, you know, and we decided to collaborate because it was like, oh guys, you are so cool. We are, the two guys are so cool too. And uh -huh. I was like, okay, let's just start to create something together. And so, in one. Do you think that's the only product this year? Or are you aiming for more? Because I know it's going to be tricky now. Yeah, so uh, it's not going to be tricky, quite the opposite. It's going to be really exciting. Thanks to the Qualcomm acquisition, now uh, we can do even more products with different vendors like uh, FATESTAC. We can create more collaborations with other companies. I will create not only products uh, with uh, you know, Qualcomm systems, but also products with other third party vendors. And it's going to be a list in here. I can also do that. So basically, you are giving me assurance that everyone was worrying that Qualcomm's going to put a bit of a restrictions on open source uh, principles of Arduino, but that doesn't seem to be a case now. No, it's not the case. It's quite the opposite. From the beginning, when we were creating Uno Q, we decided together that we want to raise the whole files. And you can find the whole files, the whole schematics, the whole task files at docs.arduino.cc. Everything is there as any other Arduino product. And of course, Arduino is open source in its spirit. And Qualcomm uh, really believe in that spirit. So we will continue to be open source and we will continue to continue this collaboration with the community and to span and to help the community. But now it's Qualcomm's kind of. All right, so let's talk tech. Tell me a little bit more details about the latest NASA. So yeah, uh, Nessa in one is this uh, little device that we created in collaboration with uh, Mfert Stack. And as you can see, it's an amazing little board that is intended for IoT and professional IoT. So you have a lot of connectivity here. You have like a thread, you have TV, you can also use Matter, you have Wi-Fi, of course, Bluetooth, and my favorite one, you have LoRa. And that is amazing with this antenna that it's retractable, by the way, you can just remove it and you can just... Oh, you can it. hide it. Oh, that yeah, is very is, nice. It's actually really cool. And indeed, we love, you know, just the click of the antenna. <laughs> so, nice. so you can save it, you can extract it, you can connect it again. And thanks to that, you can do a lot of communication, which I know most of uh, the uh -huh. like myself love. And you can start to transmit, you know, message from one thing to, to another. another thing in a really easy way. Of course, uh, we are Arduino, we are in a tight stack. We created a lot of tutorials and little demos together. And you can find all of that examples online in mm -hmm. Arduino.cc and of course in How, how cross-compatible it is with uh, M5 stack uh, sensors versus uh, the sensors from Modulino? Yeah, so indeed it's absolutely compatible with the M5 stack ecosystem. Uh -huh. as you can see here, you can connect with the group connector of M5 yeah. stack or the little models that they created, which are awesome. They are also compatible with the little models Oh, the, with the hats. The, the family. Oh, yes, that is so nice. You can start to add a little, uh, you know, hats. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's compatible with, with the quick connectors. Quick connector. Ah. It's compatible with all the quick uh, models that you can find on the market. The party windows one. Yeah. And of course, the Arduino Modulino one. So you can connect the Modulinos and start calling. If if you would like to see this used in a real uh, world application, what do you think would be the best use case for this device? Okay, so um, you have a lot of flexibility in terms of connectivity. So I think it's perfect to have final solutions, but also prototyping in different IoT environments. I think it's, this is great for interiors. This is great also to experiment with uh, matter devices. Okay, so let's put it in those IoT. But mm -hmm. at the same time, thanks to Laura, you can also experiment with you know the outside on the field. So this kind of article to, for example, applications that could be great for these kind of little devices. You can attach it to whatever you need to track and you can send messages between each other. So, yeah. That sounds fantastic. I'm looking forward to get my hands on one of these. Thank you so much. A pleasure.